Hey everybody, I want to show you my two and three piece cane pole I built, and I want to express to you, this was a fun build, and, and anybody can do it, as long as there's a cane break in your area, you can build a, a two or a three piece cane pole, but uh, it's also important as a survival skill, because you can build one. If, if you have the know-how, you can build one and it's easy. And uh, I've made some uh, uh, some additions to it. I took two ideas. I, I slide one, this, the top, into the, to the second piece. This is the second piece. And it slides in there like that. And if it's nice and snug, and I lash this in so it wouldn't split, so I got a good strong joint right there. So I got the idea of uh, inserting it into this other piece off of Google, and then uh, and then I watched Travis Brown lash in a peg. So I combined the two ideas, and I came up with a nice strong rod. And like I said, even if it breaks, I can replace it. So this is, when, you, when you're building one, you want to bring home two or three home. Uh, bring them two or three home that are about 12 or 14 foot long. And you'll just cut a section out. Because you'll have to cut out a section. Say this is one piece. You'll have to cut out a section to get it down. You start at the top, and then you keep cutting until you get this uh, next piece to slide over top your your uh, top piece and what I have here see I lash this in too I lashed in the top and I sp split the end of it I run my line up from here you can see I have it tied on there and I wrap it around the wrap it around the uh, top piece and then put a half hitch in in the line and then Run it, run it through this end right here, where it's split. I showed y'all that. That's on my other videos. If you want to see how to rig one, you can go. You can watch it on on my other video. So that's the. This is the top piece. And this is uh. This is my tackle box. I've made a plug for it. I got my weights and my hooks and my line. That's enough to reline my, my pole again. So I have all that in here with a plug in the end. I hadn't seen that done. I just came up with that. But anyway, that fits nice and snug in there. Alright, and then this is the... Yeah, I couldn't lash this because if I use the three-piece, I need to fit it, fit it over top. So... Anyway, this fits nice and snug. And then... On the bottom here, I did the same thing. I got a tackle box in here. Got my fishing line. Enough to, to do it over again. And I cut it the sides of it down where it fit in there. I don't have to fish it out of here. I got my cork in there along with my Hooks. Now I can go with bigger hooks too when I use a three piece. I can have a variety of hooks and weights, and and uh, I could probably get another cork in there if I wanted to. But that'll make it. That'll make it right at nine foot long. But when I add for backpacking, 
When I add the uh, third piece, it makes it three quarters of a pound all together. But well, with just this, this is a quarter pound with just a two piece. This one here was my original, uh, I think it's 12, 12 foot long. But that's a, my, my one piece and I added my tackle in there too. And to do the, uh, to wrap your line, I just took a small section of bamboo. You see where it's flat? You, whatever size you're putting it in, you have to make sure I put it up against there and make sure that it'll go inside the width of that flat on that bamboo. And then I just took my knife and uh, split it down like that and then I start carving. Just a U-shape in there. And it don't take much. Cause they, you can put a lot of line on one of these things. But you get the idea. And just do the other end the same way. All right. At minimum, you, you know, you could carry one of these too. This has got extra line. This has everything in it that the other has except more. And it's got line and hooks and it's got everything you need. And uh, I always carry this with me. I always carry this with me when I was fishing with just a single pole. When I was on the water. I always had this with me. And then this cordage I got from uh, blinds, some plastic blinds. And it's nylon and it's, and it's braided and it's real strong. And so I hadn't showed you. So let me finish doing this. I, I got this rigged up. Remember we tied the line to the top of the bottom piece. Just tied it off. And then we like I said, we wrapped it all the way up this line and then throwed it over. Well, well I'm going to break it down so I've taken it off the top piece. And then all I have to do is put these two together. And just start wrapping it like that. Let me start over again. Now I'll start spinning. And it's going to be ready for transport when I get through spinning this on here. And if I want to use the three-piece, well, then I can go ahead and use that line and just run the three-piece in. But I'm liking the, the two-piece for uh, survival and just uh, if I wanted to keep it complete, Instead of breaking it down, I'd probably uh, use the three-piece. I'm finishing up here. I just pull it tight. And then I'll hook it in too. The bottom there. But there it is. It's nice and tight. And it's ready to, uh, for your backpack. Now I'm going to lash this in for you just to show you what it, how it's done. 
and I'll put my loop in across here however far I think it needs to be how far up I need to go I'll loop it in there about like that and have you enough have you enough tag there to pull on I put my tag away from me like that and then what I'll do is I'll just start wrapping I get a couple wraps on there and I'll move it out a little bit not too far because it's going to come back when I pull on my tag there at the very end it's going to come come back a little bit so I'll keep now I'll pull it tight and just keep wrapping pull it tight tighten it tighten it up with your fingers push it against each other make sure it's real tight Tighten it up some more. Make sure it's tight all the way around. Pushed up tight against the, where you started. Pull it tight. Now put it through this loop. And then pull this in and you see how it's starting to suck it in there pull that in there like that and then you can burn this off and burn that off and that won't split out on you I got this one too like I said, this this piece can't be this one and that one can't be lashed because they fit in inside the others. So there's your two and three piece. And next time you see this pole, it's gonna be on the I'm gonna have it on the water, and uh, I'm gonna be catching fish with it. But I want to tell you again, man, this is a a fun build, and. Uh, Again, it's it's good for survival, and I'm glad to share it with you. So, uh, appreciate you watching, and we'll see you later.